Welcome to LT Outdoors. Let's go get some mushrooms. These are some nice little fresh ones. That's the color you want. All right, guys, decided to come out today. We had a good rain yesterday and it got kind of warm today. So I'm guessing that the oysters are out pretty good. Um, I do see there's some coming up here. Let's see if they're fresh. Of course, I left my stick at home. You always need to bring the stick with you to cut them off, but it seems how I left mine. I'm just gonna have to pop them off with a stick. Yeah, see, these are old. They're all mushy. They got wet. They still smell good, but once they get wet and mushy, that's not any good. Um, see, there's some coming up here. See, if you get out after a rain, there should be a whole bunch of fresh ones growing too, guys. These ones here are also all soggy, so those are old. Now when you find some, you just kind of stop and, and take a good look because there's usually some more nearby. some back this way just make sure we don't pass up any on the way it's kind of hard this time of year because I'm attempting to multitask <laughs> there's uh, all kinds of different species of mushrooms that are starting to grow now with the heat and everything a friend of mine just got a whole bunch of chicken of the woods and hen of the woods today so and those ones you want to look a little, well, for the hen of the woods, you want to look low to the ground. The chickens and hens, you want to look around hardwood trees. And then, of course, the oysters are on the sides of the trees, so this looks like a decent patch. Well, maybe not. See, maybe they all got ruined today with the rain. I was hoping there'd be some fresh ones, but yeah, those are all droopy mush. I'm going to be leaving those, too. Ah, we'll just keep on wandering. Maybe we'll come across some fresh ones. All right. Got some good fresh ones here. Nice young ones. Probably just came out today. Some right there, too, I see. Yeah, they're definitely... It's definitely that time of year. We'll cut these guys off here. Yeah, they ain't very big, but these are real nice and fresh ones. Yep, sometimes you get them this young, they won't have the beetles, but I see this one's got a beetle in it. That's okay, though. Yeah, good licorice -y flavor, smell to it. Put them here in my buddy bag. I'll cut the rest of these off. Yep, these are good ones. They didn't get, when they get too wet and rained on, they get all mushy. Most of these are fresh. Cool. Yeah, these are good looking oysters. And then there's some right there. See, these ones got rained on real bad. These down here are fresh. They got that perfect shape to them. Yeah, those are good, clean, fresh oysters right there, people. Ah, I love that fresh smell. Keep on looking. They're definitely growing. See some good looking ones coming up here. Yeah, they're getting dry. Yeah, they're a little too old. That's a fresh one. The fresher ones have that nicer whiter color to them, but yeah, getting too old. See if we can find some more. 
here we go we got some nice little fresh ones here growing on this poplar log and like I said dead or dying I mean this you can see this this tree is not not connected it's not even partially alive it's just laying there dying and uh, they grow on it they just love that poplar yeah so that's what I usually look for when I'm out here looking for for oysters now this is kind of a neat one I haven't got to show you guys yet it's not really an edible well it's unknown whether it's edible or not but these little things right here that kind of look like flowers um, they get a really pretty almost clear color to them when they first pop up but these are called Indian pipes and uh, they are very cool and if you pick them they smell like peanut butter I kid you not you can't get closer to peanut butter than that I mean that's it's awesome so I'm definitely wishing I could try it I just haven't haven't got it up to try it yet but yeah I bet they are edible ah and they smell so good <laughs> Well, I was down there looking at those Indian pipes and I peeked over and just happened to see that tree there covered in them. And what do you know, growing down here underneath this one, that's a whole nice fresh patch. Look at that. Those are beautiful oysters. Mmm, excellent. But I was looking at that tree. Don't know how those are. Oh, here's some more. See, the good thing about these lower ones, they were blocked from the rain, so it's a little harder for them to get mushy. Yeah. See, most of these look pretty bad. Yeah, they're all mushy and eaten up pretty bad. Yep, dry. I'm going to leave those. We'll find some more. A little bunch on the side of this one, too. A little mushy. Still fresh, though. Some of these. Yeah, I'm going to leave those. Those are a little bit too mushy. Oh, there's some more. Seems like all the good ones are down near the ground today out of the rain. Oh yeah, those are beautiful. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yep. The season is upon us. They're start everything's starting to go crazy. It won't be long, we'll be finding the chanterelles and stuff too. Indian pipes are up. That's a good sign. And I've seen a few other random mushrooms. That I wasn't quite sure what they are. I definitely don't claim to be a pro. I don't know all the mushrooms. I just know what I've studied and I'll be teaching about all them this year. I'm pretty sure we got some good ones coming up here. I originally seen some that were that way but spotted these. Oh yeah these are pretty good ones little mushy but not too bad There's a couple small ones right here uh, nope I think these are what they call wood ears or they might be baby pheasant backs actually dryad saddle they got that melon smell to them yeah, here's a nice fresh pile of them right here. Luckily, I can just reach them. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice fresh pile. Those ain't mushy or nothing. Hmm, they smell so good too. <laughs> Great. All right, now I'm not gonna pick this one because I really don't have a use for it right now. But this right here is a reishi mushroom. And it's actually supposed to be a good uh, medicinal mushroom. You use it, to, you, you can dry it out and make teas out of it. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, from what I've been told, it's good for the immune system and all kinds of other things. So, yeah, it's R-E-I-S-H-I, -I, I believe. So, yeah, look it up. That's a neat mushroom. 
Now this is kind of interesting for those of you that don't know. If you're ever walking through the woods and you see piles of poop like this, these big old things here, that's porcupine poop. They always leave poop at the front of their dens. So I would say either the porky's living in here. Nope, his den tree fell down. He's living right up under there. In fact, I bet you right now if there was a way, I bet we could see the porcupine hiding in that log. Cool, kind of wandering through the woods, heading that away, and I can kind of see some oysters. Don't know how fresh they are, but I can see them. <laughs> it's, you definitely don't want to take your eyes off them. It's pretty easy to lose them. Nope, just like the majority of them, they're all getting too mushy. These ones look like they might be a little better. Oh yeah, those are real nice. That's the kind you want right there. Awesome. Those ones down there are damp, but these are fresh ones here. Cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little mushroom hunt. Uh, I was planning on going out metal detecting, and I actually did for a little bit after the mushroom hunt. But that detector, after it got wet in the coil that one day, it just hasn't been working right. So, yeah, and I uh, I emailed Whites, and they weren't going to do anything for me. So, yeah, I don't know. My uh, metal detecting days might be might be getting cut short here soon, which really sucks. But. Yeah, I can't afford a new one, so I'm just going to have to find other things to do. But anyways, like I said, thanks for watching, guys. I hope I'm teaching you something. And stay tuned because July and August were two of my better months last year for, uh, you know, the chanterelles, the trumpets, uh, the lobster mushrooms, all kinds of stuff. So just stay tuned, guys. Hopefully I can teach you guys some things. Like your father did Everybody I know either laughed or did the same